with the sheer size, it's, it's a small city in itself. And so really safety uh, of our, our campus community was, was first and foremost. The university struck 10 working groups that uh, were basically assembled from a variety of departments, uh, different uh, capacities, staff, student and faculty, to contribute towards the framework for the return to campus planning. Student consultation has always been critical. What are their thoughts? What are their concerns? And then, you know, bringing those to the pandemic planning committee and the different working groups in place. What we've learned through this whole process, you have to be ready to act very quickly. And in any of the, um, the situations that we've had, we've done that. And so we felt really well prepared for the fall. Um, and now as we're gearing up for the winter semester, we're aiming to be just as proactive and prepared for that term as well. Safety and security of our students is paramount. As soon as uh, it's been identified that there's either a close contact or a positive case, we will set our plans in motion. Our first goal is to make sure that they feel supported and then they feel like someone's here and available to help them. The student is moved out of this building immediately and we have a number of protocols in place to, to do that to, uh, to ensure the safety of the student uh, and to ensure the safety of the, the students that are living in the community and the staff that are working with that student. The measures that we have in place, the planning that we have in place, and certainly with regards to what our, our health and safety and our facilities teams and food services teams are doing for those on campus, they're really mitigating this risk and, and really containing it. One of our goals in our residence is to make sure that all of our students feel like Lancers. And part of that this year is being a safe Lancer and understanding what that means. And so that means wearing their mask and social distancing. Um, it also means using the Safe Lancer app. And they've done an incredible job emphasizing the importance of wearing the mask throughout the building, following the zone and flow analysis, signing in, right, you know, completing the questionnaire, right, all of the elements of being a safe Lancer. We have hand sanitizers available throughout all the buildings at every entrance and exit. We have them in high traffic areas as well, um, anywhere near an elevator. The products that were sourced were obviously hospital level grade disinfectants and this is something that our facilities continues to source so that uh, we make sure that we have inventory for these products. The collaboration we have with the health unit is very important and we follow their direction. The institution will assist in uh, isolating individuals, being able to have people's personal logs available, um, getting that information from our COVID case response team um, assists the public health in uh, doing their job quicker. That's where the collaboration is really key because timing is a, a crucial factor with regards to being able to address um, finding out about any particular positive case, especially with regards to contact tracing, with regards to isolating or quarantining anyone that needs to be. Our health and safety team has just done a phenomenal job the way that we're informing our, our community right now is to be completely transparent. We are also being guided by our, our health unit specifically on this uh, and largely regarding uh, privacy issues. We have to respect the rights and the privacy of those individuals who are ill from COVID-19. Although we all want that information, sometimes uh, it doesn't make us any safer knowing the information. Our proactive approach is, is to be able to plan, is to be able to keep people informed and to be able to keep people accountable. That's also coupled with uh, news bulletins and e bulletins that we're sending out to the campus community. We're using a lot of video and social media. Gearing up for the winter semester, again, we're looking at preventing more cases. We do know that we will have cases, it's inevitable, but we're looking at, again, mitigating this as much as possible. The safety and, and the health of our students being our top priority. I think students have done a, a very good job not only recognizing that, but also emphasizing that to their fellow peers. But we have to remember in a pandemic we're always at risk and that's why it's really important to follow all those key messages that we've been saying. It's going to require the diligence of everybody on campus to follow those safe practices for some time. The safe return to campus essentially following the guidelines and the protocols that our, our working groups have put together and in consultation with the health unit. This is something that is to be happening gradually over time. We are not encouraging a number of individuals to be returning to campus in terms of their traditional work, office, lifestyle or in-person classes. This is just something that is just not a reality at this particular point in time. And again, in order to be safe, we are needing to eliminate that risk and eliminating that risk is of course the close contacts and, and the physical in-person presence. When I think about uh, how students have participated uh, and played an active role by not going out as often, by finding new ways to engage online and distanced, um, that's, how you, that's the best way you can participate in being a safe Lancer. The end feels as though it's in sight, so I'm hopeful for the day we can all come back on campus and connect and celebrate.